Welcome back to Underwater Math. My name is Farmer Willie and this is my pet pig named Petunia. Today we'll be building our measurement skills. Let's get started with length. Here is a ruler. We're going to measure using inches and centimeters. On this ruler, each inch is broken apart into four parts. That means each line represents one-fourth of an inch. To measure an object, first, always make sure you line up your object starting at the zero inch or centimeter mark, or wherever the ruler begins. Then, look at where your object reaches on the ruler. For example, this celery is one inch long. This carrot is two inches. This next ruler is measuring in centimeters. Each tick mark represents one-tenth of a centimeter. This corn is three centimeters long. Let's measure volume. This container's unit of measurement is milliliters. Each tick mark represents one milliliter, so let's count by ones to find the volume. One, two, three, four. There are four milliliters in this container. This container's unit of measurement is cups. Each tick mark represents one-fourth of a cup. The water level lines up with the three-fourths line, so there is three-fourths of one cup of water in this container. Look at these thermometers. What is the difference between the two temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit? Each tick mark represents two degrees. Let's look at the first thermometer. The red liquid is between 80 and 90 degrees and we can count by twos to find the exact temperature. 80, 82, 84 degrees Fahrenheit. And the temperature on the second thermometer is 66 degrees. To find the difference, we'll subtract 66 from 84, which equals 18 degrees. Thanks for joining us today to build our measurement skills. Keep practicing.